So we're here inside of Carbone. At this place, it's not cheap, but it's worth every single penny, let me tell you. Welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Jay. I've been a podcaster for about six years, talking about Vegas, started YouTube during the coronavirus stuff. I like to take you and explore all of Vegas, from the food, the gambling, the entertainment, the shows, you name it. Anything you can do in this city, I take you to not only on the strip, off the strip, downtown, mom and pop restaurants, hole in the wall spots. That way when you come on your next trip, you have something new to do. Pretty simple. If you like the concept, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's roll. That right there is my buddy Nick, super good people. And this is the bar, I am sitting at the bar. He started me off with some cheese here. Got a Coke, water. I'm super stoked to try this place out, man. Guys, let me introduce you to the man of the hour. This is Nick. Nick has a YouTube channel, This is The Way Las Vegas. One of the, my favorite locals here in town. And brother, thank you for inviting me, man. Super excited. This place is awesome and busy as hell. Always busy. Every night, you said. About 550 covers a night. A night. Wow. You're going to enjoy yourself. You're hungry, right? Hell yeah. Alrighty guys, so we got the cheese here. They brought out the di three different kinds of bread. Nick's like, you only need to order one thing because they're gonna hook you up. We got the spicy salami. We got the pickled cauliflower. And these are all the starters right here. Plus, we have our entree and another appetizer coming. Yeah, baby. They got three different kind of breads. They said the grandma's bread. They got a little bit of everything in here. They got butter out here. Let's try it all out. Damn, that cheese is so good. Oh man, super tasty. Strong too. A little background on this place, you're gonna get a quality meal. The food is no joke here. That's one thing about these, this food right here. Carbone, John George, even Bordeaux. These places don't mess around. The food's legit good. Let's try this grandma's bread. It's really good. That's really good. I'm just gonna put it out there right now. Nick stole one of my salamis. <laughs> some of the salami. This is how you know you're gonna have a really good meal when everything comes out appetizer-wise, super fresh, right? And cheese is fresh, super soft. The bread is super soft, almost like it has a sauce on top. Thick, gooey. Let's try the other one. Where they get you is, you get full on all this good stuff before your meal even comes and you have no room left. But it's that damn good. And I'm going in for the pickled cauliflower, because why not, right? One in Rome? <laughs> I like cauliflower, but we're gonna find out right now if I like pickled cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
It is so good. There's a pickle taste to it, but it's spicy. It's got some herbs and seasonings in there. It's good, man. Check this out. Seasoned and everything. From my understanding, all these starters come with all the meals. So if you're gonna dine here, you gotta expect this from the start every time. Shit's good, man. Real good. Make a little sandwich. The cheese, salami, bread, let's go. Guys, no joke, I can eat this bread and salami all day. It's good, man. All right, guys, so here's where things getting interesting. Nick is getting ready to send us with the salad. Yeah, the olive oil. Olive oil. Worcestershire sauce. This is every time you get a half salad. Fresh thyme pepper. Chili. Cheese dressing, okay. Okay. This is every time they get an order, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Old fashioned. Just like the Golden Steer. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Best croutons on the strip. <laughs> Best croutons on the strip, baby. Look at that. That's going to be killer, man. Nick is awesome. He's definitely taking care of us. You get a feel for the place. It's a little dark, but you get a feel for the place and what it looks like. It's really cool in here, man. And there's a whole backside behind this bar that's all tables and stuff. We're just sitting at the bar. This is like the smaller section. The bigger dining section's over in the back that way. Look at that monster. Wow. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful, brother. Thank you, sir. Guys, look at that. Damn. <laughs> Guys, there's a reason Nick's been trying to get me here for months, I swear. <laughs> Let's try this salad out, man. Definitely up there with one of the best Caesar salads I've ever had. I'm not joking. The amount of cheese is no joke, but the dressing itself, obviously fresh. I mean, look at this. This thing has so much cheese, it looks like it's coconut. <laughs> God. Yeah. Fucking great, bro. That's perfect. You know, what's cool is, hanging out with all these friends you make in town who are all YouTubers and stuff, and then when you come to their work, and they show you what they do, right, for a living. Yeah, Nick, I mean, his service, he's on point, he's checking on every guest, every time I taste something, how is it, you know? And that kind of stuff, those little things are what separate people who care and people who are here to just do a job. Shout out to you, Nick, he's a good dude. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here at his place, but I obviously came here for a reason. It's legit. If you're coming out and you're gonna splurge a little bit, I know I'm probably gonna spend 100, 100 maybe a little more plus tip, right? But if you're gonna splurge, this is one of those restaurants where you come to Vegas, you're gonna spend a little more, but you're gonna get a quality meal. Everything's fresh here, guys. I'm super stoked I came down here. This shit is so good. It is on point. I just told Nick, like, nope, nobody leaves here hungry. He's all, nope, fat and happy. <laughs> And let me show you how fresh this cheese is. Remember I was telling you guys about the cheese? Watch this. So as you can see, back in the back is the cheese. All fresh. They pick at it and give you a fresh three pieces every time. Good chunks. And that's what this is right here. Pick right off the block. All right, guys. So we got the meatball here that Nick recommended that you had to get. And then we had the, the pasta here that... He just said, you know, it's our best seller. You gotta have it and you can't go wrong. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's do it. All right, so first we're gonna go in for the meatball. Try this out. Get that green thing off because we're not healthy around here. <laughs> nice and saucy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
Now, you guys heard me mention plenty of times, my favorite meatballs in town are Pizza Rock. These almost get Pizza Rock's meatball run for its money. Really, really good. It's crazy how fresh everything is. You get so used to trying different restaurants and sometimes you're not really worried about the quality of food, especially late night drinking, right? They get down here, man. They pay attention to detail. Everything is just cooked perfectly. Super tender and juicy meatball. Man, that's good. Look at that thing. One last chance to look at it before it's all gone, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, time for the main dish. Pasta rigatoni, spicy pasta rigatoni. Oh man, I'm excited. Again, if you leave this place and you're still hungry, you have a problem. <laughs> Everything they give you is over the top and really gonna fill you up. Wow. So, that right there is super creamy. That's a little kick, the cheese kills it. Pasta noodles are cooked perfectly. That right there is no joke. This is up there with some of the best meals I've had here in Vegas, man. This is no freaking joke. And what's crazy is we've never been here, we've never stopped by here. And the biggest thing is there's so many restaurants in Vegas you can visit. There's non-stop places to eat. There's everything around the corner, right? So even making plans to go do a place, it was even, this even explains why it's taken me two months to get here. Nick has been like, hey, get over here and try my place. Like, super cool, man, super cool. The pasta shell is so thick. Creamy, man, this is so good. Guys, you want a solid meal? You're gonna come here. Carbone, come see Nick, tell him I sent you. How does it rate to some of the other restaurants? It's up there, man. It's up there. Right now, my favorite Italian place is Roma Deli. I've heard about Norda's, which I am, I do have on my list, but this place, it's, this was a perfect meal. It's hard to find a perfect meal, especially when you're in Vegas. There's usually the service or something that can lack. You can wait a long time. This, I walked from the door, sat at the bar, food is flying at me within five minutes. <laughs> and I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments. Have you been here? What did you have? And did you see Nick? Or did you just come here beforehand? What did you have on the menu? Perfect, man. Hard to find a perfect meal, believe me. I ate all around Vegas. <laughs> Some of my favorite places have let me down. This one, they did nothing special. This is just like this every day. Come check it out, guys. All right, guys, you guys are witnessing the aftermath. I probably ate half of my pasta. That meatball didn't stand a chance. The cheese, look at all the cheese left. I like barely put a dent in that. Barely put a dent in this pickled cauliflower and pretty much tore up all of the salami. Man, this was a hell of a meal. Yep, and put a good dent in that bread too. Nick just does not stop bringing me food. Let's try this out. The chocolate. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wow. That's good, man. That's damn good. Ooh, and it looks like as a prize, I get a Aria bag. Woo! <laughs> Seriously, I can't stress it enough. You guys have to visit this place. It's that damn good. Worth every penny. Hey, pleasure to meet you, brother. Have a good night, man. No, seriously, I can't say enough good things about this place. And come over and get meet my boy Nick. Say hi. Good people took damn good care of us tonight. This place did not disappoint. Guys, come out, check out Carbone. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next one. My brother. We are checking out the inside of Carbone. Let's go take a walk around and check it out real quick. So there's your whole bar setup. That's where I ate right now. Very cool people at the bar. Great conversation. Okay, we got two. This is where Bryce Harper signed his, his uh, big contract. Really, on this table? Wow, that's pretty cool. 
That's pretty cool. Any celebrities, big celebrities, we get in They go in the back bank room. You know, that's cool. Guys. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are neat. Check that out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, this is a neat spot back here. Really big. You don't you don't even see all this from up front. Yeah, that's true. Not to forget to mention, I gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to all of the Patreon members and supporters of the podcast and YouTube channel here, folks. Throwing you guys on the screen because you guys are the shiznit. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!